Hey, hey everybody, I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to walk you through the brand new Rampant Vintage Film Premiere Pro template. That's right, it's a vintage film effects builder for Premiere Pro. No After Effects, no dynamic link, no plugins, just straight up Premiere goodness allowing you to distort your footage to make it look like it's vintage film. That's correct. Why did we do this? Why would anyone do this? Well, you know what? We got this call from a good friend of ours, Rose Fredrickson. If you don't know who she is, she's been a longtime friend and fan of Rampant, and she reached out to us, and she actually challenged us to make this thing happen. She said she didn't have any native tools available to her that would allow her to get that very specific vintage film or VHS look that she's always been looking for. And she sent us a bunch of examples, and it was awesome. It's so great to hear from people. If you have a suggestion for something, by all means, hit us up. And if we do it, you'll get a free copy. So, okay, so if you're not following Rose on, on uh, YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, make sure you do. She's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the Finder. If you're on the Mac, obviously. If you're on the, the PC, this would be Windows Explorer. Okay, if you find your... Uh, Premiere Pro project, the vintage film project, and you unzip it, you're going to get something that looks like this. You're going to get the actual Premiere Pro project, and then you're going to get some presets. We'll talk about that as well. And you're going to have a bunch of assets, quite a bunch. Look at all this. And it's all from our various uh, libraries like our Motion Graphics for Editor, our Studio Film, Real Clutter. Uh, and we've got a bunch of light leaks. I mean, we've got so much that's included absolutely free uh, with this template. Okay, so... Uh, and then, of course, this is our one template that has not only a Premiere Pro project, but a Premiere Pro preset. And again, we'll walk you through on how to install that in this Premiere Pro preset installation PDF file. It walks you through very specifically how to install presets. And then, of course, this PDF file, the template installation, shows you how to unzip it, what it's compatible with, uh, what kind of uh, fonts we use, if any. In this particular case, we don't use any fonts. And then, of course, right here, how to open up a Zendesk request. Click that, send us a, an email, or call us. And we're happy to hear from you. Any which way you, you want to communicate with us, hit us up, and we'll help you out. Okay. So before I jump into Premiere, go ahead and highlight the Premiere pro project file. And just like all of our template files, right-click and hit Duplicate. Um, or on PC, hit copy and paste or hit duplicate there as well. Make sure that you always, always, always make a copy of your template. One reason for the most part is because when you, once you make changes and you hit save, you can never go back. So always make sure that you duplicate your project. All right, let's jump into Premiere Pro. Okay, so when you open up the file, this is what it looks like. You've got your vintage film effect builder, just like the VHS one. If you know how to use our VHS template, you'll know exactly how to use our film template and vice versa. Obviously, the first thing that we're going to need is some video because you don't want to do this whole effect on a file that says video one. That's kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and import. And let's highlight right here in the project window where it says your video and twirl that down and double click on your video one, right? And just go ahead and put our Shutterstock files right over that, cool. And you can turn this layer off as well. All right, back to our effects film effect builder here. As you can see, the second I drop it in, it automatically updates, really cool. But let's go ahead and go through all of this because just like the VHS builder, there's all kinds of opportunities and, uh, and ways of making changes. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this timeline so we get a much closer look, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and turn everything off for right now. All right, obviously the first layer is your video. You can uh, twirl it down over here in the project window or you can double click on it and you can put your video in there. Pretty straightforward. Moving on, light leaks. Go ahead and turn those on if you and roll it back. And as you can see, we've got some light leaks in there. Very cool. Our adjustment layer is a little bit of film look action here. So if we go in here, let me turn that on. You've got this really cool, dreamy look, right? All right, moving on. Film grain, that is what it says. We'll actually generate film grain onto your footage. And this is real film grain from our film grain library, so it's not like uh, noise or anything like that. So turn that off. Film dirt and scratches, again, from our, our studio film library where you can put actual film dirt and scratches on. Flicker, it is what it is. This is how you add a flicker to your footage. Pretty cool. Frames. Again, it's what kind of frame do you want? There you go. It's a, little, a quick little uh, four by three-ish frame there, film frame. A little bit of action there. And then, of course, vignette. How you put a vignette on, right? So if you just turn random ones on, you know, just put some film grain on, maybe some light leaks, and then just roll it back. You get a quick and dirty preview. Obviously, I'm going to want to uh, uh, render this real quick, so I'm going to 
put this over here, make that. And just to get a quick preview of what we're looking at. Interesting. So we're starting get to get the looks of a vintage film effect. So what, you know, what else is there? Is that it? Do I just turn layers on and off? Well, no, not really. This is just like the VHS builder. So with every single one of these nested comps comes a lot of options. So let's go all the way back down to light leaks and double click on it. This is where the fun really happens. Check this out. You get a lot of rampant goodness up in here. Check that out. You get what? 16, it looks like. 16 layers of vintage leak goodness. And we're only on turning on layer one here. Let's switch it to layer two. Oh, what is happening? This is awesome. So you just get to pick the vintage leak you want. And they're all real leaks, so they're all different lengths. This is not generated. This is all real stuff that we shot in our studio. Oh, check that out. So you just basically pick the, the light leak that you're looking for. You just audition them until you find something that you like. And you go back to your effects builder and it automatically trickles down. Right, so if I turn everything else off, let me just turn all this stuff off here and just do the light leaks. Very cool. So if we do light leaks in film grain. Awesome. Okay, so we know how the light leaks works. Let's go to the film grain. Double click on that. Every single one of these comps has options, right? There's all kinds of options here. All kinds of grains and all kinds of stuff that you can add or subtract and just basically turn on, turn off, whatever you'd like to get as much or as little of an effect as you'd like. Pretty cool. So obviously if I turn all these on, you're going to get a real gritty film. Uh, or if I just turn one on, turn the rest of them off, you're going to get a very light film, film grain. Pretty cool, right? Moving on. Film, dirt, and scratches. Same thing. Double click on that bad boy. and Oh my gosh, look at all these options that you have. I mean, seriously. And right now we're only on layer one of film dirt, so I can turn that one off and turn this one on, layer two, and this is more film dirt, right? And let's see, turn this one on. Scratches, turn that one off, this one on. Some really heavy dirt, so you can mix and match and play all you want, right? I'm gonna find one, let's go back to that really heavy hitting one. There we go, that one's kinda neat. That's pretty cool. So my film grain and film dirt and scratches are on. See? And I want to um, add a little light leak action there, just for fun. The one that we just picked earlier. Cool. All right. Flicker. Obviously, uh, it may, you know, you're, you have flickers. I mean, I'm, there's no other way to describe that. You get to pick one of six flickers. So we turn that one off and this one on. And it's varying flickers, intensities, very, you know, all different kinds of flicker. So it depends on what you're looking for. That one's real light flicker. So let's just uh, turn that one on with our film grain dirt and scratches. Very cool. All right. And then, of course, you double click on frames and you've got all these different kinds of film frames to choose from. You've got this eight millimeter frame. You've got this film frame here. So we'll just go back here and turn frames on. Right. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Go back to frames. Turn that one off. Turn this one on. Go back to frame effect builder. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Go back to frames. And again, you just mix and match until you find the exact look you're looking for. And it'll be different every time, you know? If you want some kind of a, an oval frame or a circular frame, that's great. I'm gonna go back to our eight millimeter frame here. Nice, okay. And then of course, the very last thing that you would add would be a vignette. And you've got all kinds, again, all kinds of vignettes to choose from, right? Right. So we are currently using vignette number one. Swap it out, vignette number two. Vignette number three, vignette number four, vignette number five, six, seven, and eight. So whatever one we want to use, I think you know, that one's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and use that one. Switch it over and turn it on, and boom, you've got an instant vignette. And then, of course, for these um, effects on the adjustment layer, this is the only layer that I haven't really talked about. You see this is this really cool film-looking effect, right? Cool. Go over to your effects window and twirl down your presets. And in there, you'll see the rampant vintage film effects if you've installed them, right? So um, we need to twirl that down and look at all these different kinds of looks and film bounces and frame rolls. 
These are all different kinds of things that you can just turn around and drag and drop on this adjustment layer, right? I had already given you effects in this adjustment layer, but let's go ahead and just turn everything off. Just get rid of everything in this adjustment layer. So now we're back to where we were. Let's just go ahead and drag a look. Vintage film look five. Boom. Roll it back. And there you go. And then you mix and match it with the light leaks and the film grain and the film dirt and scratches. Or maybe turn the light leaks off. You know, you just mix and match until you get exactly what you're looking for. And I built this project on the slowest Mac I could find. My Mac is ancient. Um, it will probably run a lot faster on your machine. But if you're ever getting into a situation where it's like really bogging down, and you but you still want to, uh, you know, mix and match and play, just turn full here down to a quarter or half, or just start turning layers on and off. And then once that layer uh, is tweaked to the way you like it, turn it back on and then turn something else off. And you know, just keep working until you get exactly what you're looking for. But that's basically it. With all these different options, you can create your own vintage film effect. So again, there's no real right workflow. All you're going to do is just click on everything and either turn it on or turn it off and then double click on something and then turn those on and turn off. Just mix and match and have fun. Just experiment until you get the exact look that you're looking for. All right. Uh, for this template or any other Premiere Pro template, go to premiertemplates.net. That's premiertemplates.net. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Sean Mullen from Rampant Design Tools. Catch you later.